Alola trainers! This is Elena from Gaia Storm TCG and welcome to another video here at Potown Store YouTube channel. Now I'm very excited because today we are going to be looking at one of the most wonderful products to start competing at Pokemon Trading Card Game, which is the Ursifu Single Strike Battle League deck. Okay, so guys, this is the deck that we are going to be playing today and learning how to make the most out of it. Um, I need to say that all you need to really build this deck is to get yourself a Urshifu Single Strike Battle League deck, which, as you know, it's obviously available in Potown, and it's, in my opinion, one of the most complete and, and flexible and competitive products that you can currently get when it comes to Pokemon trading card game. And the reason why it's so good is because it already comes with a lot of cards that will provide you with the base to build a deck around the single strike archetype. This deck that you're seeing right now is basically has basically taken the content of the Urshifu Battle League deck and upgraded it in just of like really cheap ways. If you want to learn more about how, what, I mean, the reason behind these card choices and the process behind, you can always uh, check the link down below in the description where you can find an article where I explain everything in more detail. But for the sake of time and just again talking of what we are seeing here in this video, I am presenting to you a budget version of Single Strike. Now, Single Strike is an archetype that was released first in Battle Styles, I think. Yes, in Battle Styles a couple of months ago. And it has the it is distinguished by because it has really powerful attackers that can basically KO everything in the format. The main protagonist of this deck is of course single strike Urshifu V that is amazing in both its versions because this V version uh, has one very powerful attack impact blow that deals 180 damage which seems okay right and then the V max version has beat down so normal attack 100 damage okay and G max one blow 270 damage and at the cost of discarding all the energies that you have attached to single strike, Ushifu, you can deal um, you can deal the damage no matter what you have in front of you. So it doesn't really matter that you are trying to attack a Duraludon or a Decidua, you are always your attack is always going to land. Now, the main advantage of single strike archetype is the fact that their single strike special energy boosts their attacks. This special card that you see here provides an additional 20 damage to each Pokemon that has one a copy attached. So now the numbers <laughs> the numbers become crazy because that means that the basic single strike Urshifu V can take down other Vs in the format as long as they are not running Cape of Toughness and the single strike V Max Urshifu can literally destroy anything in the format. I don't think that there is a V Max that has enough HP as to currently survive one power, one fully power up G Max one blow hit. I think. Now the other great advantage that this deck has is Hundum because Hundum accelerates energies. One per turn, you can search for a single strike special energy card in your deck and attach it wherever you want to. It can attach itself so you can attach it to Hundun itself or of course you can use it to power up your Ushifu so that means that as early as in turn 2 you are already going to be hitting for a lot of damage. Now what you really need to run in this deck in order to make it more consistent and in order to have more opportunities against the rest of the decks of the metagame is a, a dark type attacker. Why? Think First of all, that Urshifu is weak to Psychic, and that's huge, because if you face a Psychic deck, then you're done. There is nothing that you can, you can do to compete. However, Umbreon happens to have the perfect type to counter your counter, and also it's a really good attacker by itself. It's true that if you have the budget and 
and the resources, you can always try to get Umbreon's VMAX, but just a couple of Umbreon Vs is all you need for this deck to start um, to start really getting to the next level. Umbreon V, by the way, was first released in, if I don't remember wrong, in Evolving Skies, so you can get your packs there. Uh, you can get packs of this of this set and try to pull Umbreon. And the last Pokemon that we are running is Crobat V, like the, gene the generic and most stable support Pokemon, just in emergency cases uh, if we don't run, if we don't draw what we need to draw. Now, the main problem of this deck is the consistency it has because you really need to set up three hunters during the game, at least two, and if you don't then that's problematic. If you don't, that's slightly problematic. Um, we are running, of course, quick balls and a personal choice, great balls to try to find our Pokemon earlier, early on during the game. Then we run a lot of searching cards like Evolution in Sands to get our Hundums, uh, Hundums and our VMAX Urshifu. Uh, two very important cards here, Urn of Vitality, because that will recycle recycle our special single strike energy cards that are on the discard pile as well as tower of darkness i am a big fan of running four copies because we can discard any other cards from the archetype from the single strike archetype and draw two cards which is huge because in this deck we tend to break more often than not <laughs> um in terms of tools we are running one air balloon to uh, a Raloon and two switches to try to switch our Pokemon. Uh, scroll, scroll of Scorn, which is pretty good. It makes Urshifu a beast. And Tool Jammer from Darkness Ablaze. Uh, you can maybe run just one copy, but it depends on how popular Suicune is or other Pokemon that get um, other Pokemon that have Cape of Toughness attached to, to them because the problem is that you are not reaching numbers. Uh, with Urshifu or even Umbreon and when it comes to supporters I try to really keep it simple so Professor's Research, Marnie and Bosses Orders. Again, I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about how this deck is built. If you want to find more about why I kept it this way, please consider reading the article and with that being said, let's just uh, hop into the ladder and see how this deck works and what we faced against. Okay, so guys, let's play this first game with rap oh, not rapid. Why do I say rapid strike? It's single strike with single strike Urshifu and see what we go against and how the deck the deck performs. So yeah, uh, we lose the coin flip. My opponent is going to go first, and our hand is not very good to be honest. Our hand is not very good to be honest. Ah, but we go against Eternatus, which should be a decent matchup considering that we are running Urshifus. So, yep, let's see. Mark my words, Eternatus is going to become such a powerful deck once Ultra Ball is released. It's going to become like amazing. Just amazing. Hear me out. Okay, and Crobat. Drawing four cards. Uh, we actually we might need to crowbat this turn because our hand is terrible. Okay, that's better. That's much, 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 much better. I should have maybe. Well, I'm not sure if the order was right. Maybe not. Okay, so. I think, I mean, I, I know the priority is to set up Hunders, but I still think that this is good. So let's, let's discard everything, I guess. Let me check the deck just once more, just to see what I have here. Okay, so we have Crobat still, which is good. We have three urns, which is good. Okay, nothing to be very worried about, I think, at this point. How on earth 
like literally how on earth can we not get a single hundum how on earth please someone explain please someone explain how running like oh my god uh, maybe I should have just gone for the for Hundur, but I really assumed that I was going to draw into them. Oh my god. That was really unlucky. That's the problem that this deck has. Like its own consistency. Or its own inconsistency. Please don't have energy please don't have the energy please don't have the energy <laughs> oh he has the energy he has the energy so we we just died that's it we just died my god that was just crazy that was just crazy like single strike not being able to bench a single um a single hunter i really wish that nest ball would become legal again that will really save us a lot of a lot of problems and he has the last pokemon okay now we're going to be drawing like all the hunters that we did it no actually the hand is even worse <laughs> the hand is even worse oh my god the hand is even worse well i don't see a way for us to get out of this situation to be honest um i i don't see a way um i don't really see a way here let's discard this whatever i don't see a way maybe i don't know we can somehow maybe we can stall him a little bit but he has not used any single switch i think so he has all the resources in hand he has basically all the resources in hand so yep that's going to be an issue Okay, quick ball. Or nothing, I guess. Okay, so he just... Does he have another energy switch? Because I would... Does he have... Like, does he have an energy switch? And bossy orders? Because that would be just... Devastating. That would be just completely devastating. Okay, so he has the bossy orders. Now, does he has the energy? Does he have the energy switch? That's that would be my question. Okay. Please don't have the switch. Please don't have the switch. Oh no, he has the switch. I mean, he has the, the hidden energy. Okay. Oh, god, we are completely destroyed by Eternatus. Like completely destroyed by Eternatus. Oh my god. Oh my god, we were destroyed. Like right. Okay. Um. Do you know what? I think we're just going to say bye bye. Um, it was a painful loss. It was, <laughs> it was pretty, a pretty painful loss. But that's what happens when you cannot set up enough dogs in this matchup. Well, in this matchup, in any matchup in general. Um, okay, so <laughs> let's try to go for a second game and see if we can set up better. Okay, second opportunity of the day so our opponent calls the coin flip okay let's go first in the hand it's not exactly what I want to see anyways my opponent seems to be playing another single strike 
deck, in this case Gengar. Um, so, let's think. What do I want to do here? I need to draw. Of course I need to draw. And I need to ideally set up an attacker. So, let's do one thing. Let's play Tower of Darkness. Let's get rid of Single Strike Urshifu and the VMAX and hope that the second one is not priced. That would be, like, ridiculous. Um, I think I'm going to be discarding the Dual Jammer. Not sure of how useful that's going to be in this... Yes, I don't know how useful that's going to be. So, okay, we have the, the VMAX, so that's good. So let's play the VMAX, let's uh, play the capture energy here, so we can set up another Hunter. And let's just end the turn here. I mean, I could have maybe played Evolution in Sense, if I really wanted to thin out my deck and, you know, get like a... To thin out my deck, um, get myself a supporter for the next turn, but we are literally in top deck mode. We are literally in top deck mode. Now, I hope that he doesn't have the tool jammer himself, because that's going to suck. Okay, he doesn't. That's good. Uh, that's good. So, I guess... Okay, so let's play this down. Let's get a Hundurm. Play this. Play this. Uh, we probably want to set this and discard one energy. That's fine. We'll evolve the second one, that's also fine. Now we probably we're probably here looking for a crowbat. We're probably here looking for a crowbat, but I don't know if I should maybe let's thin out first the deck. Let's thin out the deck first. Uh and yeah, let's see if we can hit the crowbat. Okay, we don't. We don't, that's fine. We don't hit it, which is fine. Now, the problem is that I don't have any more energies. I don't have any more energies, do I? No, I don't have any more energies because one is priced. Okay, uh, so that's a problem. That's a problem. So, you know what? I don't want this to get KO'd by Gengar, which could potentially happen. So we are just going to take the risk. We are going to evolve onto it and beat them. That should be enough to kill the Gengar, so we get two prizes, which is good because I I really need resources. I really need resources in hand right now. That's all I care about, getting resources in hand. Okay. So I guess that he has the, the balloon. The thing is that I don't see how he's going to KO me. I think evolving the VMAX was a good thing to do. Okay, so Hundum, that's probably going to be discarded, that is it, the air balloon, okay, was in hand, he's going to power up Gengar, okay, that's fine, and he's going to probably try to put me to sleep, okay, now, no, that's really bad, no, come on, come on, come on. I need to draw a switch card. Oh, that's really bad. That sucks. <sighs> Jesus. That's terrible. I mean, that's the difference between winning or losing. That's terrible. Okay, so let's... Just discard this and hope that we... Okay, yes, we drew it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Arceus or whoever is there thank you so much okay so we won so we basically that's that's basically gg oh my god Whew. so do i want to power up i think yeah i think i'm just going to do this because that's enough damage already um let's play this down let's play this down and that's it uh go for a bit down and that should be it. Oh my god, how lucky, how lucky had just 
that bit. Like how lucky we were throwing exactly the switching card that we needed. Thank you so much, whoever is looking at Pokemon games from, from afar or from, you know. Whew, that was really lucky. I mean, not getting up wasn't lucky, but getting the switch was really lucky. <laughs> That I must that I must say. Okay. Now what is he really going to do now? Powering up an Umbreon, I guess? If he evolves into Umbreon VMAX, nah, we are good. We are good. All we need is basically draw one energy. And that's it. We would have we would have one all we need is to draw an energy that's it or to do a well no draw an energy yes and we happen to have a lot of energies back in the deck so that was more than enough because we were getting the ko on on Umbreon and we only had two prizes left that was i think a good game that proved how whenever you set up then there is nothing really that you need to worry about. You only need to set up and that's it. So it was an interesting... Were two interesting games. Hope you liked them. Uh, yeah, that was it. Okay, guys, so that was it. I really hope that you have enjoyed the video. If so, please consider liking this content and subscribing to the channel for more content. And of course, don't forget that you can always get all your PTCGO codes at Podown Store. Thanks for watching and see you soon.